Hi everybody, welcome to On The Paint Table. This is my weekly show about what I got done, what I'm working on, and what is coming up. Uh, so this week we finished some stuff for the Batman miniature game. I get to film a couple games of the second edition of that, which I was super excited about. Um, and got some work done on some stuff for the Drowned Earth, uh, as well as picking up a few new models for Kill Team. So let's take a look at what I got done and what is coming up. And so here's what I got finished painting. First off, we have the new Batman starter set. Now, if you remember the, um, the sad story about these guys, I picked them up when the second edition of Batman launched, and then uh, I was taking Cat and Cash to school and daycare, and I put them on the roof of the cart while I strapped the kids in and forgot about them. So they went for a little ride uh, down Lake Street, and I had to go find all their pieces, and they all actually survived, including this, uh, this uh, Dick Grayson Nightwing. With the exception of one of the Arkham Guards, the one with the baton, he's just a pair of legs now and a crushed base. <laughs> so sadly, they didn't get painted for a while because I was super demoralized. Uh, but I got them all done. So done up in a classic uh, bl blue and gray Batman um, with uh, the riot gun and the assault rifle Arkham Guards. And of course, a nice Dick Grayson Nightwing here with his shock batons uh, and his, his fancy lad blue and black suit. Uh, and that's roughly, oh geez, I think he's 125 plus 90, 215 plus about 60 for the two guards. It's about 275, almost 300 points worth of um, the Brave and the Bold. And I painted up some of the new resin objectives too. Uh, some Riddler marks, a piece of Wayne Tech, which is a new uh, second edition style objective. Of course, for those of you who played it, you, you know about this already, but it's one of the ones that can go outside a deployment zone. Um, it can be held for two and you can rummage around in it to find like gadgets and power armor and stuff, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then an ammo crate. And I've got a few a few left to paint up. This one's full of like like surplus AKs and stuff uh, for my objectives. These were the ones I played with last time around. And then I paint up this guy, one of my favorite Batmans, Thomas Wayne Batman. So uh, this is from the Flashpoint series uh, that was DC's Kind of like MacGuffin for starting the new universes in DC. Uh, and this is in the timeline that Flash creates when he goes back to try and save his mom. And um, the, uh, the timeline gets split and basically instead of having Bruce uh, lose his parents, Thomas and Martha lose Bruce in the same like robbery. And Bruce, Bruce, <laughs> Bruce dies. Martha goes crazy and becomes the Joker, and Thomas becomes Batman. But because he's grown up, when it when it happens, he becomes a vigilante. He can't like, he can't learn kung fu. He can't spend his life studying martial arts. So instead, he just adopts guns, and he's basically the Punisher Batman. And it's pretty dark. Uh, I got to play some games with these two crews. So this is my sort of like great detective crew over here of like classic Batman stuff. Uh, and then I get to play with uh, Flashpoint. I use the Flash um, and some other sort of like GCPD guys to, to fight the Suicide Squad this weekend. It was a lot of fun. Uh, great, great miniatures. Super fun to paint. Uh, all of these are in the new style resin as opposed to um, metal. And uh, yeah, I think my Brave and the Bold are done for a bit. I've painted pretty much everything I wanted to paint from that, that side. If I paint any more stuff, it'll just be superheroes for the DC game. Although I do have Hawkman to finish. Um, at some point I might paint Wonder Woman, but she's kind of out of scale. For Batman, she's a she's a legend. She's just like too powerful. Uh, and I do have, if I feel like doing the voice, I've got the Christian Bale Batman. I could paint up still too. But I feel like every time I look at him and I want to paint him, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start talking the voice. <laughs> and I don't want to make a video where I can't help myself but talk in. And it wouldn't be like the Christian Bale voice either. No, it'd be the the, the, the Pete Holmes voice because I I would turn into Pete Holmes Christian Bale Batman probably throughout the whole thing. So anyway, uh, lots of fun. Played some games this week. Uh, you'll see those coming up actually next week on Friday. We'll do a Let's Play for Second Edition Batman. Uh, so big thanks for Jason bringing 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 his stuff down to play because I've been wanting to check it out for a while and I finally got around to it. And here's some odds and ends I need to finish painting up. I have another uh, ammo crate, some medical supplies, a loot marker, two ace chemicals uh, jars, and then I think this is Titan gas uh, to finish up the, the rest of the new style objectives. I have a bunch of these painted up as, as the old ones, um, but I want to have all the, the current range ones just finished up. So I painted the ones I was going to use in the game and these ones are still need to get painted. And then I got ready with all of my drowned earth stuff. So first we have the firm. Um, these are kind of like the, the organized crime of the Drowned Earth. The whole MacGuffin of the Drowned Earth is that uh, the polar ice caps melt and there's a post-apocalyptic world where everything is, is just sunk underwater. So it's, um, it's overrun by dinosaurs. Dinosaurs come back. There's tons of mutations. There's like saurian people, uh, sentient apes, just all kinds of bad news. Everyone's just a little bit messed up. So the firm is... Um, I don't want to say they're the baddies, they're the self-interested people in the Drowned Earth. And I'm going to paint up that Warband as my first one. And then I also primed up a bunch of the Wayfinders, who are uh, sort of the mercenary group, but you can use them as themselves too, as like their own group. 
mostly just because I really wanted to paint an elephant with a minigun. This is one of the Drowned Earth minis I'm most excited about. Uh, and I also grabbed a whole bunch of um, aquarium plants and various like flora bits to uh, to dress up all of our post-apocalyptic stuff and make it look a little more jungly. So getting the table ready for that as well. Uh, and then I also got these guys primed. What are these, you say? Uh, well, these little sort of like 20 mil dudes are actually the playing pieces from Warlock of Firetop Mountain, which is a game I've been wanting to play for a while. Uh, it's a two to four player adventure game where you try and basically get up to the, the treasure and you have to try and find out the code to, to unlock the, the Warlock's treasure in a board game version of the classic Ian Livingston, Steve Jackson, Cheese Your Adventure book, which I'm stoked about. So I painted all the non-magic ones. You get a, a cleric and a, a wizard as well but they don't really fit the theme because you don't have spells running, you're just a fighter. So I painted the elf, the dwarf, um, the uh, soldier, or the knight rather, and the barbarian for our four custom playing pieces to get ready to play that too. And then I grabbed First Strike. This is probably the coolest box if you want to play Marines or Death Guard and Kill Team. Because it comes with basically a whole marine, a marine Kill Team. You get three Intercessors and three Reavers. Uh, and you get almost enough to do Death Guard as well. It's about 25 points shy. You need one more... Death Guard Marine, or like a lot more box bringers. But if you have one other, I was thinking about converting one. If you have one other Plague Marine, um, you're basically ready to rock and roll for this. So I grabbed these mostly because I've wanted to buy this box for a while and check it out. And it's a really cool value. It was, I think it was 50 bucks Canadian. And you also get like a copy of the rules, uh, dice, measuring templates, and like the, this was, I thought was really neat. The insert in the box is actually terrain. So when you play the game, there's a fold out mat and then you get this piece of terrain as well, like pre-done pre terrain which is three Imperial containers kind of like side by side to play the game with. So um, I grabbed this up mostly because I've been wanting to paint the Pox Springers. This was a good excuse to do that as well as um, some Death Guards. So I'll have like another kill team here and then these guys are going to get it up. I vote in the comments. I'm not sure which one I want to do. Maybe I'll start a poll in the community tab. Go to the community tab. I'll do a poll as to what chapter I should do these guys. If I should do them for my Blood Ravens, if I should do them for my Space Wolves. Um, I already have Dark Angel Intercessors, so I'm not really excited about that. I could do the, them as my Death Watch, but I already have some Death Watch Intercessors and the Reavers I have to find pads for. Uh, what other chapter could I do them as? That's really it. It's my Raven, it's my Blood Ravens, my, yeah, Blood Ravens, my, I could do them as my Death Spectres too. Blood Ravens, Death Spectres, let's say Dark Angels, Space Wolves, or, uh, my, what should, Death Watch. And go vote, and we'll decide how I'm going to paint these guys. So there we go, another on the paint table on the books. We'll see you for more next week, and you can check out what I got done and what is coming up then. Uh, until next Saturday, I'm Ash. I'm Remy. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below so you get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirt, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Death Ray Designs. Um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible. Uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else. And most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.